Hey guys, Siobhan Vance here, founder of the Neon Life Society. Today I want to talk to you about taking back control and the single biggest thing that you can do to stop yourself from being a victim of your circumstances. Look, the truth is there are a lot of things in our life that we can't control. You know, getting a health condition, losing a job, a, finan a financial crisis, an economic crisis, a breakdown. These things seemingly are not controllable. We can do things to ensure that they don't happen, like exercise, look after our health, become so invaluable at work that we become indispensable. And we can save our money and invest our money as best we can. But the truth is there are a lot of variables out there. And rather than worrying about what could go wrong and being a victim of circumstance, the best thing you can do is take back control and know that you are a creative person. You have the ability to change things and it all starts with your mindset. What you believe, you will create. What you focus on is where your energy goes. And rather than worrying about what could go wrong, sorry, I'm just in Central right now. How cool is this view? I'm in Central, awesome. Um, but rather than focusing on what could go wrong and planning your contingency plan, I invite you to focus on what you can do that's within your control. What is possible for you rather than focusing on what could go wrong? Because the truth is thing, many things can go wrong and you can mitigate as best you can. But if you put more attention and intention into your plan B rather than your plan A, then you're going to be more prepared for the plan B scenario happening, right? How many times have you done this? How many times have you planned to, you know, maybe go for your dream job with company A and you said, I'll be okay with company B. And lo and behold, you get the job offer from company B rather than company A. That's because you were planning for company B and you said that that was your minimum goal and you'd be happy with that. So rather than focusing on plan B, I encourage you to focus on your plan A. What is it that you truly desire? What career do you really want to pursue? Is it a business? Is it staying within corporate? Get clear on what's important to you and trust that you have the ability to make it happen. Take back control and fix your mindset, right? Your beliefs control you. And if you don't know the beliefs that are running the show, then message me, I can help you with that. But you know, you really need to think about what you believe. If you believe that getting that job with company A is impossible, guess what? They're going to sniff you out in the interview and they'll know that that's true. So where am I? Speaking of jobs, that's where my uh, last job, that was the building that I was in. Feels kind of weird to walk past it now. But you know, you've got to take back control, right? People feel your energy subconsciously and know whether you're going for something for real or if you're feeling scared or if you're doubtful. People will pick up on it. So that's my message for you today. Own that you're a creative person. You can create absolutely anything that you want to. Put more emphasis on your plan A and know that you can make it happen. And don't stress too much about plan B because you know what? At the end of the day, no matter what, you're going to be okay. That's my message for you all. I wish you all a beautiful week.